The second category of the system acquisition, development and maintenance clause is called security in development and support processes. The objective of this category is to ensure that information security is considered and implemented in all phases of an information system's life cycle. This category has nine controls, and the first is called Secure Development Policy. To ensure that developers develop secure software, and consider security as a major requirement equal to performance and availability, a policy should be developed and implemented setting the rules for all developments in an organization. The policy should include measures to secure the development environment, which should be secured from unauthorized access. Security should be applied in the software design phase, and checks should be performed at regular points within the project milestones. Assessments should be performed to discover any vulnerabilities and fix them. When reusing code from other developers, it should be checked if it complies with the security requirements of the organization. Developers need to be trained on the required security measures to become more efficient and effective. If development was outsourced to third parties, the underlying agreements should ensure that the required controls are in place. 